So Fraser Clark, debut in February on the Khan Brook undercards. Um, you had a bit of flack about the opponent. Um, it wasn't a great narrative, was it? Then you had the hands issue mm. and you've waited six months. I bet it's been a kind of frustrating time for you in a way because you'd like to have been four fights in. Massively, Gareth. Listen, there's, there's no fighter in the world that's going to tell you they're happy with, with having an injury and sitting on the sideline watching everyone else progress in their careers. Yeah. And I'm, I'm absolutely no different. It's, it sickened me at the time. Obviously, you know, I'm a big boy. You just sort of grin and bear it and get on with the job, what like I've done. But, um, you know, I'm back and uh, I'm looking forward to fighting again. So tell me what you did with the hand, if you're able to speak about it. Yeah. You've yeah, had this, just, how it is now. So I was, I was just preparing for my second fight, normal day in the gym, sparring, um, sparring a big guy from London. He came down, just threw a normal right hand in my, in my big gloves, big sparring gloves. I caught it wrong or he had a hard head or, or whatever I hit or like I, I did a Bennett's fracture which I'm told is, is quite a you know reoccurring thing for boxers it, it happens like you know to quite a few of them it's not it's not new or unusual I had it out of it pinned like everyone does when they have this fracture mm. um, it's healed well healed perfect I had a good, really good surgeon Dr Armstrong you know he uh, really looked after me and yeah he just said look you know he's going to take a bit of time now he rest up heal up you can still train everything else, just you're not going to be able to use the hand. So that's exactly what I did. Which hand was it? My back hand, right hand. Okay, so have you been jabbing your way through the last six months? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I tell you what, they're going to call me Larry Holmes. You know, when they see me box, I've got the Larry Holmes job now. You know, I think there was a time when, um, I think going into the third Ali Frazier fight, Eddie Futch got Frazier to pin the left hand behind his back. Back, yeah, he did. And yeah, they yeah, did yeah. train with the right hand. Yeah. You're probably going to get jab overuse now, aren't you? No, you know what? The right the right hand, to be fair, you know, the last few weeks I've been, I've been in, integrating it into training and sparring and it's held up really well, no pain. Hmm. Um, you know, it's, it's more, it's, it was more opening doors or lifting things up, you know, not, not punching. One of those punching annoying the, pains, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was it, yeah. It's like if you lift something the wrong way with your shoulder sometimes, and I've had it for a while, lifting it's my crazy. bike to the back of the car on top of another bike, you pull something here, and I've had it weeks, but you don't want to stop cycling or paddleboarding or doing what you're doing. So for you, it must be, given that's the office, it's been, what have you worked on in that time then? I think, you know, I think mentally, the, the side of things of being injured, it's, it's a great time to reflect, you know, to look back on yourself, I mean, the, the debut was good, but now looking back on it now, I'm, I'm not happy with it. Just, you know, there's things that I've worked on the last six months that I could, if I had implemented them, in, implemented them in the debut, I'd have been happier with. So, you know, it's all about progressing. And like I say, you know, there's, there's, you've got to learn to be a professional fighter. Don't just come overnight. It doesn't matter what, what background you've got, amateur background. Mm. Things take time. You have to nurture yourself. You have to learn the new skill of being a professional prize fighter. Which, and that's what I've, I've spent the time doing. Do you, obviously, it's next Saturday, a week Saturday, um, uh, so, or tonight, if we're going out on talk sport. Um, do you know who your opponent is yet? Because I haven't seen the announcement. Yeah, I've got a name. Um, I, I can't, I'm going to be terrible with pronouncing it. You've got a country? Latvia. Okay, Latvia. So it's one of those unpronounceable but, names. The Latvian, yeah. we'll call him. The, yeah, I mean, he boxed Thomas Carty, the Irish lad on matchroom card in Nottingham last um that was that was his only loss before that I think he'd had five uh five one he's had five now one four lost one with three stoppages so you know that compared that's the it was the best of a bad bunch of opponents really and I'm sick of I've been having this talk about opponents recently and uh even speaking to big Josh I said you was very lucky at the time you came through you had very good opponents that looked yeah. looked the part. Um, they were good, the good test for you. I feel like, as far as opponents go, they're not there anymore. You know, like yeah, them good testing opponents. Yeah, interesting. They're just not those guys with like ten and two, or they're just not there at the moment. It's interesting. They, they, they don't seem to be, don't de seem to be there at the minute. And then when it when it ends up being, you know, a, a, a doorman uh, from from down the road, you get the stick for it. But the, the top and bottom is. You, you can't get the fights and the ones you do get now they're wanting ridiculous money to fight yeah. I want to know I want to know uh, 
professional. Do you know what I mean? So I think the landscape's changed, especially with with the opponents of of, of heavyweight guys for people that are coming through. Am I imagining it, or are you thinner in the face? I'm a little bit thinner in the face. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm in good shape. I feel good, Gareth. You know, like I've t- I tell everyone, I'm never going to be uh, I'm never going to be ripped to the bones like a bodybuilder, but. I keep myself right, I train right, I listen to the right people and eat the right things, you see. So I'm feeling good. Um, you know, like I say, I, I, I'm in this job because I enjoy it. I enjoy boxing. And all I want to do is get back out there and have some fun with it. Do you know what I mean? Tell me, um, I can't remember. I, mean, I don't know why, but have you moved away from Sheffield now, from the EIS? Yeah, I'm at Loughborough. I'm at Loughborough University. You're at Loughborough, yeah. I'm at Loughborough University. Yeah, great setup. One of the best setups in the world. Um it's full of inspiring people and full of winning people. If it's not the students that are trying to graduate, mm. they're all graduating today and to see them, mm. see the happiness and joy after knowing they've worked for two years to get to where they are. It's the same with all the sporting people there. You know, you have the Adam Peaty, the swimmer, absolute beast. What, you know, seeing him in the gym is, is, is absolutely inspiring. And, um, you know, I love being in this environment. Have you had to go up to any of the dorms to stop the boys giving you any abuse out the windows or not? No, I, I just have a crack with them. To be honest. You know what I'm referring to, yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. I, 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 I'm, I'm one of the, I'm one of the boys, you see. So I have a, I have a good crack with them all, uh, and I've, you know, I've. Uh, but you know, don't catch the big one on the wrong day. Do you know what I mean? Don't give me crap yeah, on the wrong exactly. day. Otherwise, but other, otherwise, it could go sideways. I've done that a couple of times with Dillian White, and he's still waiting to have words with me. Believe it or not, so I, I wait for that moment with a slight trepidation. Did you? The fact you've been training there. Did you catch up with AJ at all before he left for Saudi? I've been there. I've, I've been in the gym every, every day with him. Every I've, I've not. Re- I don't think I've missed a session of his. I've been there watching every single day because you know I'm, I'm eager to learn. And he's like I say, he's a good friend of mine. Um, and I think you know everyone in the gym needs 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 that person. And I've tried to g him on, and not that he needs motivation. He's very motivated for this fight. But you know it's it's good to be in there around Robert Garcia, around Angel Fernandez. Yeah. You know, and I think I think he appreciates having the opinion of another fighter. You know, now and then, last me, how do you think that session went? And you know, the good thing about me is I'm another heavyweight, and I'm I'm just brutally honest with him. I'll tell him when he's looking really good, and I'll tell him when he needs to pick it up. And you know, that's how it's gone, and he's appreciated it. Um, and you know, he has, he's had a good camp so far. What I've seen now, he's going over to Saudi. Hope it continues. Yeah, we saw him a t- two and a half weeks ago, and he looked in really fine fettle. Obviously, physically, he always looks amazing, but mentally. He seemed really good. He's got, he's got, he really, I think Robert um, Diaz, uh, Robert Garcia and um, an Angel are a good combination. I think they filled him with confidence. My feeling is, I don't know if it is yours as well, just go out there and be AJ. Don't try and do anything that's not AJ. Be educated pressure and just, just give it your all. Just be a destroyer if you can and try and push this guy around a little bit. But now, however awkward he is, because he can do it. He's heavyweight box. I've spoken to loads of people in the build-up to this fight. Um, there's a lot of people run him down. There's a lot of people think it's a very tough fight. I think it is a very tough fight. It's an awkward sequel. But we, we all want him to do it because we all want the big one. We all want him to get Tyson Fury out of retirement because the trickle-down effect, if that fight happens, is enormous. And for AJ, rest- restoration of confidence, in my view means win or lose, he goes out there and he just gives it all. Because he knows that he didn't leave it all in the ring, I think that's fair to say, again, September last year, if that's a fair way of criticising him. Listen, the, the word the word Tyson Fury hasn't even been muttered in, in our gym because we, we know that the job at hand is a, it's a difficult one. There's, yeah. no, there's, no, there's no two ways to butter up. Uh, he, he is one of the more skillful heavyweight champions we've had in recent years, you know, on, on the skill level, him and Fury, they've, re- they've really at the top of the tree, you know, even if you go back in history, when it comes to skill, these two are, these two are very good, but Usyk, like I say, he's not, it's not, you're never going to be, for him to be heavyweight champion of the world, to beat him, just by going in there and mauling him, like people suggest, it's never going to happen. Yeah. You know, I mean, AJ, we definitely, I think we definitely need to see a more positive positive approach from him and I think we'll definitely get that I think we're also going to see you know the fact that not, not boxing you know you probably aren't going to out of boxing but there's you can out hustle him he can be out hustled I've seen it with a little bit with Derek Chisora I've seen yeah. it with 
I can't remember the fella's name, his first heavyweight fight. There was times where... Chaz Witherspoon. Chaz Witherspoon. Chaz Witherspoon. Not for long periods, but little bits of out hustling him, you know. And let, let's let's be honest, this isn't an amateur fight. This is professional fighting. This is this is street fighting with a referee and gloves and rules. You know what I mean? So you've got to do whatever you can to, to unsettle this man yeah. and use all your attributes. And I feel like with the team behind him, you know, um, they're the filling with confidence. We're not false confidence. This is all real confidence. You know, you've got to remember you're, a, you're an Olympic champion. You've been the heavyweight champion twice. You've you've got a great resume. Yeah. You've you've not come up against a, a South War as good as Usyk. No. But listen, two arms, two legs, and he's got a jaw like everyone else. And if Anthony Joshua is on the jaw once, he's going to hurt you. But if he lets the flurries go and he pins you on them ropes and holds you there, let me tell you now, you've got to be superhuman to withstand it. Oh, he's one of the, honestly, I think he's as good a finisher as Lennox Lewis was. I've always said that. You know, when he's got you there, he's got you. Um, Did you fight Yusuke ever as an amateur or not? Never, never, you never. Just not uh, cross then? Never yeah. cross pass. I was at the same couple of tournaments as him. Um, no doubt he went on. I think, I think he boxed at one tournament super heavy that I was at. Other than that, he was the weight below most of the time. Well, listen, and, uh, I, I'm, I'm being given the, I'm getting a little dig in the ribs uh, from the PR. Got to move on. Um, no doubt you'll have a much more inter interesting interview with the next person. But um, best of luck in Bournemouth. We'll see you there. I think Talk Sport are doing the broadcast live. So I look forward to seeing you on the night. Don't get injured in the meantime. Don't get COVID. Don't lose too much weight. Keep those hands heavy. Can't wait to see you. And it's always brilliant to see you, mate. Take care, guys. Good to speak, mate. All you right. too. Cheers, Fraser. Cheers. Right, bye bye.